Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little haul that I did over the past couple of weeks. I've been purchasing some stuff. This is kind of like a collective haul because um, these are all lashes and I need to have like a good stock of lashes. So some of these um, styles are styles that I am very familiar with and that I like, so I repurchased. And some of these styles are just new styles that I wanted to try out. So, um, anyway, so I made a, I made an Ulta purchase and a Walmart purchase. So, the reason for that is because um, I went on the Ulta website and I noticed that, well, actually, I got an email that a lot of the Ardell lashes and a lot of, like, the Duo Glues and some of the, um, what is the other brand? Some of the um, Eiler London lashes were also on there, um, on sale, and the Kiss lashes. So I'm gonna start off by showing the stuff that I got from Ulta. These were all pretty much um, half off or 40% off. So um, I think most of them were 50% off. So they were pretty, pretty cheap because a lot of these um, are they're like multi multi sets so they have um a couple in here so anyway and i also got some glues i am obsessed with the the duo black tone glue and um or dark tone this is a black one um and the reason why i like it is because it, it blends in i feel like it blends in the lash um the lash band really good with your own lash so even though um, the clear glues, I mean, the normal glues that dry clear, I mean, it's supposed to be clear, but I have, I, I feel like um, for certain looks, it's just like the blending is better when it's a dark tone glue. And I've just, I used to wear um, the clear one. I used to buy the the ones with the little brush applicators, which I have some here and the stuff that I purchased. Um, as you can see, my little box. Yeah, um, I went a little crazy buying this stuff, but the reason why is because I have a lot of lashes that, um, that I don't use. I don't wear them because they're, they're not what I thought they were gonna be when I bought them. But anyway, back to the glue. So I used to wear the Revlon. Um, Revlon used to make a glue that's like, um, like those um here like this is a new one that i just purchased they used to make these i don't know if they still do i haven't found it so i i started um i know this has been years so i just um started using this one from like a youtuber recommendation and then um i just really really like it i don't like the applicator because i just feel like it's really um it's harder to control like how much comes out of it so you have to be really careful and i have found myself like making a mess sometimes when like i'm getting better at like i i have better control over it but at first i would make big messes so anyway um i'm gonna since i'm talking about glue i'm gonna go ahead and go into the glue so i bought it, the dual brush on strip lash adhesive this is the white that dries invisible this is um this one and then it says that it has um vitamin a c and e so yeah i got this one and then like i said it's it's the one with a little brush up brush applicator which i used to like you know i used to be really into these they're just easier to apply on the on the strip lash and then i have so i got this one and th that came out to be like three um dollars uh, the prices aren't even on here. Like, yeah, they were like around two something, three dollars. So they were half, they were all half off, like give or take half off. So they were, they were pretty good. So anyway, and then I got the duo. Um, this is just the dark. This is the dark tone, but with the brush, with the little brush also. And this one dries um, black, of course, because the dark tone. So, so yeah. And um, I've never used the duo um, brush on one. The ones with the brush. So this is gonna be the first time we try and I haven't been wanting to get my hands on some of these, but I'm one of those people that sticks to what knows is good for most things. Like if I have something that I really, really like and it's just like perfect for me, like I won't branch out, out, out of it just because like I know it and I trust it. 
if it's something that I'm like, um, well, it's good, but I feel like there might be something better out there, then I'll try something else. So, um, but for this the lashes, I just felt like I could, you know, like try something new. And I saw this one. I didn't know they make this one, but this is the dual quick set strip lash adhesive. This is the dark tone also. So this one's supposed to set like way faster, which is good because, um, it's good and bad, so I guess it depends how you apply how quick you apply your lashes. Um, but this one is supposed to like set within five seconds. I guess we'll see about that. And the brush, I noticed that the brush is it's not even a brush, it's like a little spatula. But um we'll try that. And um so yeah, I got those three lash glues. And then the lashes, I got the Ardell Wispies, and these are the number 113s. I used to wear a, this style a lot, not necessarily the Ardells, because I'll show you another pack that I bought from Walmart that is the exact same lash. And it's crazy because the, the price varies. It depends where you buy it, but anyway. so. These are the packs that I normally get. These packs have um, five pairs. Sometimes I'll even give you a free one. But for the most part, it's like the five. The five ones. And I like this. Um, these packs because I like pretty much I'll stick to the same style of lashes. So I like buying them like that. And then these are some new ones that I had it. I had seen at the actual Ulta store. But I, did, I wasn't really like, you know, like, oh my god, I need those lashes. But anyway, these are the Ardell uh, Naked Lashes. And this is the number 422, 422. And these are a little bit like wispy. Um, what I mean is like they're kind of fluttery. So they have, it's like, they're not like just one, like one going this way. It's like um, feathery kind of. And um, the lash band, if you notice on these, is clear and that's why I really really like these lashes because the lash um, band is clear and then I got these are the Ardo wispies these are just the wispies these are the number 600 these are pretty much identical to the clusters from um, Salon Perfect that I buy which I did buy some of those see and also the band is clear so and then the last one that I got from Ulta are the Wispies, the number 700. These are also from Mardell. And this is another style that I used to wear back in the day a lot. If you look at pictures from... <laughs> um, Alan's in here. So if you look at pictures from back in the day where I used to wear lashes, like a lot of lashes that I wore were those um, two styles, like the, these. And... Um, where the heck where did I put that? And... Um, the wispies so they're pretty much look to think they're like kind of like the same they they're a little bit different not like completely these are they look the exact same but there's sometimes like there's not a like, exact consistency and in, in consistency in the way they make these lashes when it comes to like um certain brands but i mean it's nothing like you know dramatic or anything and okay so the lashes that i'm wearing right now these are all these are also ardell but i got these oh Okay, I forgot. I forgot about these. Sorry, these are also, these are also from Ulta. These are the Eyler. I've never tried Eyler lashes before, so I don't know how it's gonna how you know they are. But these are also they also have the clear band, and these are like wispy light. They look very like natural, like a natural cute like you know demi wispy lash. And even like the girl on the back, you know, it looks like she's got like kind of like a natural pretty wispy look so yeah i'm excited to try these out for like a really simple look like not a lot of like um makeup look and this is the number 117 and these include glue i normally never use the glue that the lashes come with so i don't know how that's gonna go i mean i might try it i really doubt it but yeah so anyway the lashes that i'm wearing right now these are all these are from the um from Ardell and I actually bought these. You see how they're just like so, they're so like feathery. I like when the, um, the like the links, like they just kind of taper out so they'll, they're not like cut off straight. They're just like, kind of just like, the point just keeps going. It's like needle-like almost, I feel. So yeah, the lashes that I'm wearing right now are the, and I actually like had the box here. 
They're the Mega Volume 259. Um, they come in here and I got two pairs of these just because they looked really um, nice to me. Um, these also have a kind of like a clear like band. It's just like since there's so much, um, so much of like the, the, like the little hair, like they just cluster up together and it looks like I have a thick band, but it's really, it's actually clear. So I always look at that when I get lashes, like when I'm looking for lashes that I'm going to wear, like, um, when I do my makeup to go out, like if I'm going to do a look for like a YouTube or whatever, I have lashes for that, but I normally will not wear out or anything like that. So this is one perfect. I got these from the Walmart also um, online, and these are the Wispies. This is another style. This reminds me of um, these. They kind of look like almost identical, if not identical. So yeah, and I this is my favorite lash brand. It's a lot perfect. Which you can only find this brand at Walmart, like from what I know. Like usually, I always buy them from Walmart, and sometimes it's really hard to find them in store, like certain styles. So I um I started looking for them online, and I'll just like I order them um to like pick up at store, and it's just easier for me like that because I actually find them. So these are the Demi Wispies and these also as you can tell they have the clear band and it even shows you like this is what a normal lash will like have that kind of band and this is the kind of bands that I always look for because I hate the, the dark long ones here like I have I lash right here all right Alan so this is this is like one of the lashes that I have that um See, they have those dark bands. I don't like those. Like, I just, I don't know. I mean, they're okay, but they're not, whatever. And these are the Kiss. These are the style. They're just, I think they're the number 11. This is another one that looks like the Demi Wispies. I guess this would be like the Demi Wispy version in the Kiss line. And I, I like these because, like I said, like they come with like a lots of pairs, so. Like you don't get through this stuff quickly. And then another of the Ardell, these are the Mega Volume also, but these are the number 257. And these are more, um, like see how they're shorter at the front and then that's toward, the, to the, toward the end at the edge, they kind of flare out a little bit. They're a little bit longer. And they're also like those, um, that style that's like, um, they're just, um, they have like the tapered tips and they're just so like they're they're like fluffy see that and that looks so nice when um when you wear them they look so um i feel like they look like those expensive lashes i don't buy expensive lashes i just feel like yeah, to get a good lash you don't need to waste a lot of money because there's like lots of companies that have them that are nice and it, also it just depends on what you're into but anyway so this is the this is the salon per perfect the go glam so these are not or i thought were the let me find them which i am already like out of them the salon perfect clusters so, which these are like old, these are the 615, no actually they are, but see, this is what I mean when it comes to like the, see these are the clusters and these are the clusters, to me these are longer and thicker and these, these are already used, but these aren't as long and as like, I don't know, so I mean, they're the same number, I don't know what, okay I see now. So these are the 100% natural hair, these. I guess that's why these look thicker, and these aren't. These are just fake lashes, you know, like some of those fake ones that you find. So I guess that's the difference. That's why these look so thick and like, I don't know. But it's the same, it's the same style. And then I also got the 614s. These are some of the lashes that I used to wear a lot back in the day. I actually, when I started wearing lashes, this style, Alan, Alan, shh. This style and the Demi Wispies were the ones that I would wear the most, mainly these. But um, as I started like branching out, I started using like a little bit different styles. So it's those and see, see what I mean? Okay, let me show you real quick. The, these and these, okay. So these are the 614s, the, Ar the Salon Perfect, and these are the Ardell 
113s. These are the exact same lash. And I, the reason why I bought them both is because I wanted to make sure that my suspicions were right. Because I did think, I did suspect that um, these were the exact same style, just they're different brands. And the thing is that the Ardell ones usually run more, like a little bit higher in price. And I'm just kind of like, why? If it's the exact same lash, like I just, um, the Kiss and the Salon Perfect, the Demi Wispies, uh, like I said, exact same thing. Where's the other one? Yeah. Okay, so these two, they're the exact, they're the exact lash. And then, even the Eyler ones would be in that, like, they're not identical, but they're pretty similar. I feel like maybe these are a little bit longer, but for the most part, it's the exact same style. And then, well, these, like I said, are pretty much the exact same thing as the ones that come in the blue package from um, this exact same brand, except I guess I never noticed that these clusters, and these are the Go Glam, so the clusters aren't 100% natural hair, and these aren't, so that's the big difference between these. I didn't. I bought these in walmart.com this is where i usually buy these but at these this one in particular like this packaging this one they the clusters they didn't have them online like i said that's why i like to look for them online because usually they're always sold out it's really hard to find them so when i saw these i grabbed them because that's the only ones they had and then i'm really excited to try these out just to see how they like how they look on um like just when I do like a really simple um, eye look, which I do a lot. And then these wispies, um, these I find myself, um, I always end up trimming them anyway. I'm trying not to trim my lashes as much on the edges, but I normally do. So yeah. And then these, the Ardell 600 are just like the clusters, the Go Glam ones that um, I got. I feel like these are shorter though but um yeah and then well these mega volumes which i really like but i feel like these these are two different styles these i feel like they're the styles that are are like the ones that the salon perfect came out with they're called like the fully this, these are this is like the fully stack these are used i'm not even gonna pull them out because these are like <laughs> i cut them and I, they were so long for my eye shape that I ended up like cutting them and I didn't like them anymore. These are the extension stickers. This is another um, Salon Perfect brand. These are a little bit more expensive. They have the same clear band, but they're a little bit thicker. They're a little more dramatic. They're so freaking pretty though. They look amazing. And I feel like these, end up being like those Ardell ones, kind of, because these are the ones that they'll, they'll, they'll taper out on the tips. They're just different styles, but I feel like this is like the cheaper version of what Ardell's trying to do here. So anyway, so that's my little um, lash haul. And thanks again for watching. Please like and comment, subscribe, and share the video with a friend or two. Thanks, see you in the next one, bye.